playing well. But European football can often change that. It's got that bit of glamour to rekindle players' appetites. So Tanadice was expecting great things from United against Skopje of Yugoslavia. Were the fans to be rewarded? Well, Arthur Montford is your commentator. And for their 63rd match in Europe, Dundee United lined up with a very experienced team indeed. Thompson, Malpass and Holt, Rolf Hegarty and Neri, Bannon, Mill, Kit Woodsterick and Redford. And for David Neri, he becomes the veteran European player with, of course, the absence of Hamish McAlpine. And as the teams change ends, a look at this very experienced uh, Vardar Skopje side. Grosev, Nadoski and Simovsky, Kenneth Orlovsky, Setinov and Jurevsky, Jurasevich, Savesky, Georgievsky, Drakov and Rinkov. And for Vasil Rinkov, the 28-year-old striker and captain, this will be his last match away from home at any rate in Europe, because after the return game in Yugoslavia, uh, and after £80,000 have changed hands, he'll be playing the rest of his football for Eintracht Brunswick in Germany. The referee tonight is from East Germany, Bernd Stiff, at 7.30 and off we go. This is United's 51st UEFA tie, becoming very, very experienced and looking for tonight's match to perhaps turn the tide in... Uh, recent games which has not been going their way that looked a pretty solid tackle indeed there by Nadovsky and uh, Redford really felt that one he really tumbled down and thus early in the match that really was a very solid tackle indeed Redford had just moved in towards the ball when Nadovsky got him very late indeed. No, no. Nice coming sideways pass to Bannon. Redford is already going wide. Bannon trying to find Redford. There he is. Need to beat his man to make the space. And that's out of play for a corner. All the big men are in for this one. Man into the near post. Goff across. Turned out. Whistle goes for a free kick for a challenge on the goalkeeper. There's the near post ball. Goff going up. He just seemed to get a flick. The keeper off the ground as the challenge came in. And the referee right on the spot to indicate a free kick. had a very quiet the first 13 and a half minutes Stolop had absolutely no chance to throw that Janewski uh, easing him right out of the play there that was a great push again the referee takes no action other than conceding a free kick nice turn to me left foot what a good chance that was a lovely one too from the free kick well worked by Sturrock and Milne, and it could easily have got a goal. Milne got it to his left foot, looked up but fired it wide of the target. A very good clear-cut chance there for United in the 14th minute. That could be a good ball. Georgievsky, long way out. Rinkoff. Now pass. And I think at last we're going to have a yellow card. 
and certainly not before time. The ball, I think, is being changed. Perhaps that will uh, give uh, United a change in fortune. So Dracoff is booked, and it's a free kick to United. Neri to take it. Sturrock a back header. Chance for Milne. Out in front of Redford. Oh, what a chance. What a marvellous chance that was for Ian Redford. A great leap by Milne. Redford's superb position. Just took it a touch early and over the top. A clear-cut chance to United. 23 and a half minutes gone. Solidly. Janewski. Pega to the game solidly. And Drakoff, the player who was booked a few minutes ago. Uh, the referee is reluctant to uh, let the Varda uh, Scotty physio onto the field. I must say it didn't look too severe. And of course, this is what uh, this is what European football is all about, really. For the away side, in search of a result, anything goes, and United know it. This fellow's good with his left foot. Rinkoff, number 11. Look at the angle. Could have a buzz, and he did. That was a good shot and a good save. trying to regroup, trying to think of another way through this blue and white wall. Kept with challenging, set up for the throw. And uh, United clearly feeling that they must get a goal by half-time. Because one gets the feeling that if they could get one, they might get more. Good challenge there by Malpass. Off closing. Milne going in. And as I say, one certainly can't fault United for effort. The tackling has been firm and decisive. And the midfield play has been confident and aggressive. But the chances that have come their way, they just really haven't managed to put them away. coming there by Sturrock but it may well be the touch of the unorthodox and the unexpected that will see them through and he's saying uh, that's a free kick but uh, taking the action against Nadovsky who uh, at least three times has thumped Redford hard Bannon with the free kick what a run by Hegarty he made 25 yards very quickly there in uh, even time Can United get the breakthrough? Milne. Redford. Keepers out of his goal. Posted missing there. Good play by Holt. Brought down. The ball was over the line. And that'll be a corner, I think. And United are really working at it. Bannon going across to take this one. Hegarty on the line, Goffs in support. The keeper punches it any old hole, and the ball is thumped over his own bar by setting off for another corner. Bannon racing across. Holt's available for the short one, but that may just be a decoy. Bannon to the near post, headed up. Goff is there, heading it down, straight back out to Bannon. Takes it early towards Sturrock. Grosseff, a good save. 
And again, the keeper making an absolute mountain out of nothing. He has a reputation for time wasting and has been known to be a bit of a play actor. And uh, the contact with Sturrock uh, was certainly not too severe, I didn't think. We'll have another look at that. Golf won the ball, sent it back out to Bannon. Sturrock went up. The keeper fell slightly awkwardly, but the contact with Sturrock was 50-50. The annoying thing about this fellow is that he's actually a very good goalkeeper. If he would just do his job. They've got a long-range effort. Ball spins loose. Sturrock going in. Can't get to it. An orthodox save. More United pressure inside the last 15 minutes of the first half and how they would love a goal now. Bannon thinks about a longish one. Goff a back header. Milne early. Deflected. Good save. Lovely move. Good chance. Good shot. Good save. There's the chance. There's the shot. And there's the save. Bannon, left-footed. Goff, spinning loose. Cleared away by Setinoff. Into the crowd. There's a good crowd here tonight for this match. And listen to them giving United encouragement. Sturrock, super turn. Good cross. Goff, again the keeper's away. Out of his goal. But he did well, he got to it. Holt, in trouble. Drakov. This is a solo job. Jurasevic coming in far side. Drekov trying to buy a bit of time. Hoops it across. There's a header and a good save. What a good save that was uh, from Thompson. I mentioned Jurasevic coming into the attack and he appeared from nowhere to glance that in with his head and that was a very good save indeed by Billy Thompson. And United will feel that uh, their first half play deserved better than a goal goal scoreline at half time. But would it be that? Goff trying to go through into the second minute of injury time. And the referee finally blows his whistle. And the players go off. United reflecting on the chances that might have been notably that marvellous uh, opportunity for Redford just missed in front of goal in the 23rd minute. Then at the other end, that brilliant save by Billy Thompson from uh, Jurasevic's header. Jurasevic and Drakov booked and the first half dominated by United. The half-time score is nil-nil. And as you'll see when you rejoin us after the break, everything to play for in the second half. And welcome back to Tannadice. United kicking off at the start of the second half, attacking the goal on the right. They have made no half-time substitutions. In terms of strikers, they've got Davy Dodds, who passed a late test just half an hour before the kickoff, and young Kevin Gallagher. I'm sure Jim McLean feels that uh, the kind of pressure they had in the first half is bound inevitably uh, to produce a goal. That certainly is his hope. The next 45 minutes will tell us what the reality is. United certainly dominated the first half. Should have been well ahead at half-time. But Bardar Skopje showed with their occasional breaks that they can play a bit of football. And that the captain, Winkoff, is potentially a very dangerous player indeed. Drakoff infield. Really gives Billy Thompson his first touch of the second half. Kept stretching. Ball pass, forcing his way into the open space. Milne with good support. Leave it tight. That's obstruction. Again, Goff and Hegarty going forward. Will takes it. Goff and Hegarty going up. Down to Bannon. No space. Just wide. That was so close. That was so close. There's Milne's free kick. Hegarty and Goff making the initial challenge. It breaks to Bannon. Did well to get a right foot toe poke in from there. Just wide of the goal. Sturrock. Janewski just leans on the 
little striker who just waves his hands as much as to say, what has a guy got to do here to get possession of the ball without getting banjoed? Headed away by Setinoff, returned by Holt. Goff knocking it down to Mill. that's a good ball. Mill out in front, too far for Van and up. Look like handball! My goodness! And Matlarovsky looked as if he controlled that with his hand, but the referee said no, and this is awkward. Thompson stayed cool. Will we get to oh what a tackle! What a tackle! Savescu, my goodness. Savescu straight into Hegarty there. And uh, you see it again, the ball was away. I mean, that really was so late that it was next week's match. Georgievsky. Jurasevic and back again. Redford knocking that down, but no one there. Ready to hold. Falls awkwardly between Sturrock and Mill. Thompson will think about a long, long kick here to try and turn defence into attack. Milne does well. Malpass. Back to Milne. Good header. And it's there. Redfoot does the damage. Redfoot pulls the plug at last on Vardar Skopje with a brilliant header. Eight minutes gone, there's the move. The ball broke nicely for Milton. He floated it across. Redford made a tremendous leap up into the top corner. A beautiful sight to see. Grosseff had no chance. This is Bannon. Sturrock looks for the one two. Sturrock again brought down. Janewski has already been booked. Does the referee have the courage to send him off? That's the question. And there's the answer. He doesn't. Sturrock had the ball cleanly. Gnevsky was in late. It was a free kick. Bannon, right foot this time. Two players there. Under the bar from Goff. Headed back in by Hegarty, almost a known goal. Headed away from under the bar, what pressure here. Now Milne, edge of the box, Malpass. <laughs> Tremendous spell of sustained pressure by United, which came so close to getting the second goal. Finishes up with the ball going wide for a goal kick. The keeper committed himself. The ball hung a long time in the air before Simoski got to it. It was headed back in and again headed it out by Nadovsky. It's a doesn't fight, Gurusevic. He really hasn't figured very prominently uh, in the attack since that very good head in the first half. And Kravinovsky will come on. And uh, I watched this fellow at training last night. And, um, and he's a good-looking player. Big welcome for David Dodds, who comes on for Billy Kirkwood. Passed the fitness test with literally less than an hour from kickoff, and he gets a big reception from the Tenerife crowd. And how one remembers that glorious April evening here when he scored against AS Roma in the semi-final of the European Cup. What a night that was to be here. Very forward. Dodds is in the thick of it with that header back to Bannon. Out in front it goes, again appeals for a penalty not given. Well pass taken out the play. Milne, a crunching tackle comes in there to Madovsky. 
out of play. And this is where David Dodd's experience and height might prove to be a significant factor in United's favour in the second half of the second half because we've had more than 20 minutes. Up in the air, the keeper comes out. That's a miscue. Chance for Bannon. This is Redford. Paul Higgett is injured behind the goal. Stark again, trying to get round. Behind Janevsky. Holt. A little bit untidy there at the moment. And there he does the right thing, back to Thompson. Hegarty has been treated behind the right-hand goal at the moment. United are playing with ten men. We kick midway inside the Vardar Skopje half. Hegarty's back on. In time to take his place in the lineup of tall men who will go forward here including David Dodds and Richard Goff. Goff has already started his run. He's the decoy. Out in front, a chance here for Sturrock. What a save. Turned back in. That was a great save. That was a great save by Grosse. And Sturrock acknowledges it. There's the move forward. There's the header out in front. And that was a great save. Superb move. Grosse again is doing his Academy Award stuff in the goal, it's hobbling about in agony, left arm, and a lot of concern among the Yugoslavs, but the law he may be putting it on a little bit here, that was a superb save. Hegarty going in. One of the Yugoslav players was about five yards offside. Redford. And again, that was a good Janevsky snapping at his heels there. It's a stutter. Brought down by Nadoski. Another booking. Nadoski. I don't know quite what he's arguing about because it says. Uh, Three and a foul as you will get. Five Vardar Skopje players booked. Drekov and Jurasevich in the first half, Savisky, Janevsky, and Madovsky in the second half. There's the free kick. Goff a back header. Chance for Dodds. Turned out Redford. On the line, was it over? Referee says no. Play on. What a chance that was for United. Should have been two. They all stopped. And a break at the other end could be dangerous. Rinkoff is the player to watch here. Neri doing well. Good save, Thompson. Did not take his eye off the ball. Maybe the captain, Rinkoff, going there. Uh... Because indeed. Yavanovsky, number 14. So. But, uh, have used both the subs, 14 Yavanovsky, 15 Travanovsky. It's United's free kick. Ball pass trying to get in. This is dangerous. Just inside the last 15 minutes, Eamon Bannon looking for Ralph Milne there, not finding him. Milne goes in, gets it back, and again. Malpass up an attack, space on the left, chance for Redford. Has to beat his man to make the space though, has he gone too far? Turns it out in front, Malpass stayed up, possible chance. Now Dodds, forward to Bannon, United's work rate is fantastic. We really have kept going so well, Goff. Tees it up with his left foot to Redford. Redford trying to go through. Free kick. Well, number of options here for United. The tall men going in. Or perhaps an Eamon Bannon special from outside the box. We'll see. 
but how they could use a second goal inside the last 15 minutes now and uh, if there was a time to score it I guess it would be right now Grosef is away at the far side of his goal to get the ball right back into position Dodds coming across as a decoy here comes Bannon looks like a pot shot keeper drops it go Goff scores 2-0 superb Totally what United deserved. A Bannon thunderbolt. Grosseff couldn't hold it. Goff was there and the ball was in the roof of the net. There it is. Couldn't hold it. Goff high in the net. 2 nothing United. United really have worked so hard in this game. There's a substitute to Gavinovsky. Redford harassing, challenging in that far side as Nadoski knocks it forward. Holt heads it down. Dodds is there, so is Malpass. Our pass cut possession does get a tackle in, no breaks out to Georgievsky. Hasn't many options though. United's time to challenge and Harris. Savesky, obvious dive, didn't deceive the referee. Dodds forward. And again, Janevsky brings Sturrock down, and this time he's going. Not before time. 11 minutes to play. Ganevsky booked earlier for persistent fouling. Pulls Sturrock down once too often and is correctly ordered off by her still from East Germany. And when you see the replay, you will see that there is no argument. Sturrock away, pulled from behind. The referee, in fact, is telling the coach, the fellow with the brown jacket, to get inside. He's been doing that the whole evening. Gurashev Vishnevats, the coach, is also ordered off, and there he goes. There he leaves it to Neri. Skopje moving out. Then he come back with them. It's headed out, but not cleared. No, goes in pretty solidly there. Still in play. This is Hegarty. Sturrock. Wide to Goff. No one's worked harder than Richard Goff in the second half. Redford far side. Dodds. Redford again. Sideways to Bannon. Dodds goes back out in front. Bannon beats his man out towards Dodds. Back header was on. Spins loose. Not cleared. Chance. Ball driven in. No one couldn't get to it. And finally at the end of that is a free kick. And is it a free kick for obstruction to United? It looked as if Bill couldn't get to the ball. I think that's what that infringement is for. And Herr Stumpf is indicating an on-scoring free kick for obstruction. The goalkeeper preventing Bill from getting to the ball. Now, what can United conjure up here? So, four minutes to play. Can United get a third goal? The wall has to be ten yards back. Bannon's there. There are exactly four minutes left. And the referee... He's a really busy man in there. And this is real tension here. Milne is beside Bannon, so is Dodds. Milne and uh, Bannon having a word. The referee's got the wall back at last. Can the kick be taken and can United score? We'll know the answer now. Here they come. It's always time, of course. It distracts United. And he will have to book somebody, otherwise the game cannot continue. This is becoming almost ridiculous. Vardar Skopje will not let the free kick be legitimately taken. Three minutes from time. So again, Bannon and Mill. Bannon hooks the far side to Sturrock. The unorthodox move for a disappointing end to a potentially 
good situation for United. And the referee, I think, is taking a yet another name. Somebody's off, yes. Second player to be ordered off. Nadovsky will have to go. He was booked in the second half. And he becomes the second player to be ordered off. The third, if you include the coach. Dundee United winning there 2-0. Remember the goal scorer has Ian Redford and Richard Goff amongst all that other mayhem. After the match, Arthur Montford took the opportunity to talk to Jim McLean. Performance by us. I thought in a word that they were magnificent. Well, I think the application and the attitude was magnificent and uh, particularly what they do with Stan during the 90 minutes because uh, make no mistake yet, this team is a very good football side but uh, sadly they didn't try to play football tonight. That was perhaps the most disappointing aspect of the whole game. There's a lot of skill in that side. I was like you, I watched them training here last night and there's a lot of skill there but uh, what they showed us tonight wasn't skill. Well, most certainly it wasn't any, any skill at all. It was really, really uh, disappointing to see some of the things that went on mm -hmm. out there tonight. Now, the second half again was an exercise in patience for you, and um, you decided not to change things at half time to keep Davy in reserve. Uh, again, an exercise in European patience almost, wasn't it? Well, I think that uh, the game's all about patience, and uh, to be completely honest, in Scotland we don't... Uh, have the patience that's, that is necessary. If a, a European team comes over and sticks the ball all over the place and plays really uh, possession football, then they're magnificent. But when the Scottish team uh, try to do it, then uh, one, the players get a wee bit frustrated in trying it, but mostly the supporters get frustrated. Mm -hmm. Just think back to the international the other week there uh, against East Germany. Mm -hmm. And if teams are over here to defend, then most certainly you've got to take time. But I was really proud of the application and, and the determination and also the discipline in the team uh, to not get involved uh, during tonight's match. Ian Redford's header came at a perfect